sisters here present and hundreds of our friends watching and listening, listening to this message from the comfort of your homes. We welcome you to this hour when the Lord is speaking to us. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you that you have called us to speak to us even at such a time as now. Help us to listen to your voice. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh, Brothers and sisters, we are living at a time when the government keeps reminding us of the instructions and the simple rules that we need to take even at such time when millions uh, over the world are living in fear because of the coronavirus. And indeed, the instructions are not new because even from the Bible, as we shall see briefly, God kept on issuing instructions that he expected his people uh, to follow, to obey, to adhere to. And therefore, as we look at uh, the word of God from Exodus chapter 12, from verse 1 to verse 17, we see and we hear God giving instruction to his servant Moses so that Moses can in turn relay the same message or instruction to his people. And what are we to learn from what God is giving to his people? If you look at the whole portion of chapter 12 of Exodus, uh, verse 1 to verse eight, uh, 17, God is giving a command. And when a command is given, it is only for the hearers or for the recipient to obey. And therefore, my brothers and my sisters, at such a time as now, God, in calli God is calling us to be more obedient than ever before to his command, to his word. And therefore, the first thing that God expects of me and you at such a time as now, if we are to be saved, if we are to live and to rejoice even after the pandemic, is for me and for you, my brother and my sister, to obey the voice of God, to obey the command that he is issuing. That is from verse 1 to verse uh, 17 of Exodus 12. And then if you look at from verse 3 all the way to verse uh, 12, God gives specific instructions. And indeed, each and every day, we see our cabinet secretary of, uh, or the minister for, of, for health giving instructions to people. What are we to do with the instructions? We are to follow the instructions. And therefore, besides being obedient to the command God gives to us every day, he's also calling upon us to adhere to the simple instructions because adherence to the rules is what will make us do according to his bidding. Thirdly, we see in the same portion of the scripture, God calling us to keep to mind of all that he has ever done to us, what he is going to do, so that we can relay of his faithfulness and of his goodness to the generations to come. And therefore, my brother, my sister, at this particular time, he says in verse 13, the last line of verse 13, that no destructive plague will touch you when I, struck, I strike Egypt. What are we to do for the destructive plague not to strike us? One, we must be obedient. God is calling us to be, God is calling us to obedience. Two, we must follow the instructions. God is calling us to adherence. Three, we must remember that God is at the top of everything and therefore God is calling us to remembrance. If we do that, that, those things, then 
we shall be able to live and to rejoice just as the Israelites remembered. If you read Psalm 114, they remembered uh, the faithfulness of the Lord and they recounted how the Lord fought for them, overcame for them, and therefore they continued to live a happy life, victorious life. May the Lord help me, may the Lord help you. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you for speaking unto us. May your word continue being alive to us each and every moment. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.